I know I've been making a lot of videos about how I want to stop doing certain things and certain businesses and how I want to stop doing certain side hustles and I don't want to sound like a broken record but like I don't know I just I feel like I'm wasting time gas energy I just don't know if it's worth it where I live Yo, what's up guys? It's Meg. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be driving for DoorDash and Uber Eats once again, but this time we're going to be driving in my hometown area of Pottsville. By some miracle, I was able to schedule myself last night. Usually I'm not able to schedule unless I do it a couple days in advance in this area. And I am scheduled from 11.30 to 1.30 and then I'm scheduled again at 2. So we'll see if it's busy. It's a Friday. Hopefully that means it'll be busy. I haven't gotten any orders yet and I've been online for about five minutes. Just picked up the first order of the day at Subway. It was for either $6 or $6.50, I forget. And the total mileage was like two point something miles. It's a chilly day today, guys. I'm not, I'm not about this. All right, it's a six minute drive. I feel like this is definitely worth it. Right, guys we're off to a good start i ended up getting paid seven dollars instead of 650 for that order so hopefully we get some more good orders it's 12 14. so i just realized i'm wearing the exact same outfit that i was in the last doordash uber eats video i have like a bigger north face jacket to wear but like oh i got another order i'm literally right here because this is where a hotspot is six dollars and fifty cents the total mileage is 2.4 miles so i'm going to accept this <laughs> this order is at the uma hibachi steakhouse which is like literally right over here it's a hot spot that i just drove to um so let's go get that I just completed that delivery and good news guys that one turned out to be eight dollars and fifty cents instead of i think it came up as 6.50 or six dollars or something like that so that's really good we're now at fifteen dollars and fifty cents and it's 12.42 someone commented on my last doordash and uber eats ride along vlog asking what my decline rate was or acceptance rate or something like that and i like went to check and my acceptance rate at that time was 25 percent my acceptance rate is now 27 percent so today i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna try to get that up a little higher because that's not good i never really thought about how that affects like your standing with DoorDash. It's just difficult to improve that one. Like a lot of the orders that pop up are like really bad. Like I have a friend that tells me that she only accepts orders above $8. I only accept orders above $6. I mean, sometimes I do accept like $5.50 orders or $5 orders. And I just hope that that it's gonna end up being more than that. But like, it's really difficult to have a good acceptance rate or a good decline rate when um, a lot of the orders that pop up like really aren't worth it. I don't know. Do people do other dashers like accept Really low orders like that just to be in like the top dasher. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know how it works I just do my thing out here Since I'm working on my acceptance rate my decline rate whatever you want to call it in this video I just purposely accepted a pretty bad order <laughs> um i accepted an order that is seven dollars and 25 cents at, at taco bell for like 11 miles i'm literally one minute away from taco bell about to pick it up i don't need that energy i have a doordash for matthew now you're so cloudy i wake up good you're so grouchy please get from around me <laughs> When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down to ride, you weren't down to ride. Caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slipper slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. 
so I just dropped off that Taco Bell order from DoorDash and my dash technically ended. I was scheduled until 1.30 and I did schedule another dash at 2, 2 to 8.30 p.m. But like, I honestly don't know. Like, I know I've been making a lot of videos about how I want to stop doing certain things and certain businesses and how I want to stop doing certain side hustles. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm wasting time, gas, energy. I just don't know if it's worth it where I live. So I'm going to delete my dash that I have scheduled for two. I might schedule something for like around five. I do have a theory in my market that it's always busier in the evenings but like during the week I try to go to jujitsu and kickboxing in the evenings and like I've been slacking on that yeah I, I don't even know what, I don't know what I'm trying to say here I just don't know if this is like even worth it at all for me in my area and I don't want to sound like oh, I'm just giving everything up I mean I'd be lying if I said that I'd still be doing this if I couldn't make videos on it, you know? Maybe I would. I did do Instacart before I started making videos on different side hustles. If I could still do Instacart, I feel like this gig work would be worth it for me because Instacart does pay better. It's just more work. I would like to go back to Instacart, but I forget whether or not I told you guys this in a previous video, but my Instacart account has actually been deactivated, so I can't do Instacart anymore. I don't know if there's a way to like get my account back, but yeah, if I was doing Instacart, DoorDash, and Uber Eats, I feel like it'd be worth it. Uber Eats is like completely dead in my area. Like I never get anything around here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna head home now. I'm getting hungry and I don't know. I might come back out later this evening um, or I might not, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, I'm back home in my basement and I honestly don't know if I'm gonna go back out tonight. I don't think I'm going to. I just, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't wanna disappoint you guys. I don't wanna keep giving up on things. I just don't know what to do right now um, with the YouTube channel and with like actually making money. <laughs> Ever since earlier when I was out door dashing, I've been feeling really lazy today. I don't want to go for a run, but like at the same time, I know I should. Alright, sorry I'm kind of sweaty and disgusting now, but that was a really good run. I'm feeling a lot better. Am I allowed to be wearing just a bra in a YouTube video? I hope so. It's a sports bra. It's fine. Anyways, guys. Yeah, so I really was not feeling DoorDash today. And yeah, I'm sorry if this vlog was kind of disappointing. I just got really in my head about a bunch of different things, like barely making any money doing DoorDash and Uber Eats. It's definitely one of them. Doing that gig work just for the vlogs is one of them. Um, and also like trying to start this freelance photography business. I've just been way too in my head about all of that stuff. And when I get like that, I start to feel like I don't really want to do anything. But the run definitely helps. So I'm definitely feeling feeling better and I'm gonna start editing today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end this one here. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one on Wednesday. Peace out.